Yo, do you like the Knight Faction? Then you'll love Lawbringer. On your screen right now is the most original fashion in the universe for anyone in the Knight Faction. As you can see, I have the extremely underrated black iron material and I look sexy. So as I said earlier, if you like the Knight Faction, this guy really does have it all. Full plate armor, extremely unrealistic proportions and everything so that you can just sort of nag about it and nitpick for a good few hours. Historical weapon being used wrong. All this good stuff. He's even broken as shit. So if you come from the land of Black Prior and Warden, I don't know, what other knights are in the game? I don't know. So if you've come from the, the land of other knights, is, is what I'm saying, uh, you'll fit right in, don't worry. This guy requires no skill and about no skill and a bit of no skill thrown in there as well. Basically what I'm trying to say is you're a sodding twat. Hello and welcome to the Bone Zone, motherfucker. Now to teach you how to play the bastard. First off... SHOVE! So, as you saw there, you basically want to do this move whenever you see the opponent go red. That's the only way I can really describe it in brain dead terms. Essentially, look at the enemy's guard stance widget. As soon as you see red, just whoosh, whip out the old big funny. Should be noted, this move has super armor. Not to be confused with hyper armor, there are actually differences. Super armor gives you infinite hits of armor, which is basically um, a state in which you cannot be staggered. And hyper armor gives you just one hit of this magic armor that makes it so that you can't be hit out of things. So, this move cannot be stopped by anything at all. E except for dodging, but shut up. So, d you know, like, what does the enemy do? So, they dodge out of the way of this, right? Because they, they can't interrupt it. They have, they have to dodge out of the way. Here's the thing. Lawbringer's shove has basically no recovery on it, on whiff. Um... And 99% of the cast can't actually punish Lawbringer for doing this. So he just sort of does it whenever the fuck he wants. And there's nothing you can really do about it. There are a few notable exceptions. Um, the main one I know of is Tiandi. His dodge lights can actually punish this. Unlike a lot of dodge attacks in the entire game. Other people include Raider. Um, oh, who else? I do believe Conqueror as well. Uh, they all actually punish this bash, so if you're playing as Lawbringer and you're reversing these people, don't do this out in the open because you're just going to die. So after a bash, you can get a light, and then it goes into a finisher heavy, which is always unblockable no matter what. You can also faint any of these unblockable heavies, so stop say no parry for you, bitch. Um, and this is your primary form of offense. Yep, your primary form of offense, as I said earlier, actually does revolve around the enemy pressing a button. This has always really been the case with Lawbringer. Um, you know, rework or pre-rework. He's always been the character that you have to rely on your opponent throwing attacks. So, if the opponent doesn't throw attacks, what do you do? Because this bash is extremely reactable. And although it can't be punished, eventually you're going to run out of stamina from just randomly chucking this shit out. And people are going to do it on read, and then they can punish you. So, you know, what what kind of offense does Lawbringer have outside of the shub? Well, he has top lights, bitch. A 400 millisecond poke to the top that does 15 damage. And is extremely difficult to parry. Very difficult to block. And you basically need to keep your guard top if you're a static guard character. All the time. So let's say you want to parry this on read. Oh wait, never mind. Boom. Boom. No. Thing is, he's also plus off of this. 
Yeah, Law Lawbringer is plus off of this, by the way. If you look at the guard stance widget, and which one comes back first, he's plus off of his top light. So basically, it's still your turn to do things as soon as you've done. Because if I do this, and then they throw a light afterwards, let's, um... Actually, I can't really set the opponent to do it, but... Um, if I top light and they try and throw a light as soon as they as soon as they recover from the hit stun of this, uh, and I throw another top light, my top light will come out victorious because I'm plus on hit. This is actually one of the only light attacks in the game that's actually plus on hit. A lot of lights, such as Orochi's chain lights, tend to be minus on hit. This means that basically the person that you're hitting with them recovers quicker than you do. Uh, this is. I presume to stop people from just spamming like constantly and you know people with no hyper armor not being able to get any form of hit in without having to block so yeah keep this in mind just in general that's just sort of like a general tip and I'll refer back to that in future episodes of this as well so don't worry if you don't understand the frame advantage thing just yet don't worry I'll I'll, I'll get to it later on all right so other than his top light in the uh, the, the funny uh, what else does Lawbringer do um, he guard breaks a lot. Well, yeah, you. yeah, no, this is a very totally character. So guard breaking and just do doing that is a very big part of his kit. If you're not near a wall, you get a side heavy instead, which does the exact same amount of damage. I didn't know that. Um, hmm. I, I, I don't know my lawbringer, guys. Oh, no. He's, he's received a lot of changes since I last played him, uh, but yeah, you know. Other than Garbreak's top lights and the, the, the big funny, there isn't really a whole lot you do until the opponent starts attacking you. Realistically, that's, that's, when, that's when the shit opens up. Though, then again, you can throw just heavies, and even on block, you can still go to bash, which is great, which then makes good things, right? Or you can go heavy to light. Or you can go heavy into heavy, or even faint it into guard break into, yeah, and you can sort of do this forever. Lawbringer is great at keeping his turn if the opponent doesn't know how to stop him. Which is basically, by the way, he doesn't have hyper armor on anything but his shove. This is how you shut down a Lawbringer, right? Just don't respect him and keep poking him out of fucking everything and he'll hate it. Um... Though then again, that's that's when he starts bringing out the top lights. That's when you parry this on Reed. That's when the, the the old Reed parries come out. This is typically why Lawbringers like to just look at you and just shove on Red because it gives them hyper armor, and then they can sort of start their turn and start doing things. Thing is as well, um, if you see a Lawbringer is about to throw an unblockable top heavy at you, you can light him out of that nearly every single time. Most lights will beat that and they will um, interrupt it and it's your turn now. Uh, another little tip for playing Lawbringer, uh, if you get an unblockable top heavy, you can press light just as it hits and you'll get a little sort of extra bit of damage. This leads to a 50 damage top heavy, which is accessible at any fucking time as long as the opponent is sleeping. So let's say, do this and do this. Yeah, it, it just works. Thing is, this entire thing has absolutely no hyper armor, so you can just interrupt him throughout any of this. Just remember that fact. And that's realistically all I can show you without showing Lawbringer's parry punishes, because that's actually where a lot of his complexity comes from. Um, things like getting a heavy parry and a light parry, they lead to different reposts, and they do the most damage in the game. Physically cattle. This is actually why people hate him, by the way. Simply just because as soon as you get light parried, you just sort of die. Um, it, it, it's not, it's honestly, it's not actually that fun to fight. Lawbringer in general is just extremely not fun to fight, so yeah. Speaking of no recovery, uh, his zone also has basically no recovery in the fucking slightest. You are ridiculously plus if this hits, so you can go straight into a top light and they have to respect it. They cannot light you out of that. So let's um, talk briefly about where Lawbringer is played. Uh, in a Dominion match, there are a few roles. You may not actually know about this because it's a pretty low down thing. 
Uh, honestly, I didn't know that there was like rolls in the Dominion map for quite a while, but there kind of is. So you have the side laners that stick to a point and sort of clear minions sometimes, but they primarily stay on a point, boost it a lot, and prevent back caps, stuff like that. Then you have the mid laner who sits in B or C if you're on shard, and they sort of just clear minions forever. Um, and occasionally go and help with ganks, but tends to not. And then you have uh, the gankers, which roam around the map and they help in ganks, that's what they do. So where does Lawbringer fit into all of this? Lawbringer is a mid laner, but he can also anti-gank, gank, and side lane perfectly fine. Yes, he just plays every single role, so don't worry if you don't understand the roles just yet, and I've, I know I've not exactly explained them, then don't worry, Lawbring is the character for you, because he doesn't have to play in any sort of fucking role. His best role is mid though, seeing so that this has absolutely no recovery whatsoever, you can sort of stand backwards in the minions and not even be parryable. And you just sort of do this, constantly. Clearing minions, having no recovery, being completely unpunishable, and just being a general swat biscuit. It should be noted, um, Lawbringer's mid-clearing isn't the fastest in the game. That's not why you're going to be hating him. The reason why you hate him is because this has no recovery, it's spammable as hell, and just in general, Lawbringer is a very annoying character to fight because as soon as you try and claim minions, he's just going to shove you, and he's just going to shove you, and he's just going to shove you, and there's nothing you can do. Because your zone attack doesn't break his hyper armor. Lawbringer, I presume, was designed to be a sort of defensive character with a lot of parries and stuff in his kit and he rewards you for playing defensive and basically staring at the opponent. Um, such a shame that people really, really don't like this playstyle, huh? But hey, I, like, as bad as it is in For Honor, I am someone who plays tanky characters in games. I'm a solo and support main in Smite, for instance. You know, I, I play tanky characters that are very defensive, and I like the sort of defensive play style of whiff punishing characters in some things like Mortal Kombat, for instance. So, Lawbringer seems like a fit for me. The problem is, Lawbringer is more than just a defensive character that, you know, has strong parry punishes and stuff like that. He's, he's just completely brain dead. There's no... There's no high level tech for him. There's a reason why I've been sort of stretching out the video forever. It's because genuinely I'm running out of things to talk about. His parry punishes are unique. His top heavy unblockable gives you a little bit of extra light damage. But the character has very little complexity. Um, there are a few characters that I will say have very little high level tech slash no high level tech. Those being Lawbringer. Aramusha, there's a few more as well, like um, Valkyrie doesn't really have a whole lot of high level tech, just a whole lot of checks and um, just things regarding mix-ups in general. But yeah, Lawbringer has very little high level tech and if you're very new to the game, he's a great pickup, he just sort of presses buttons. The less you know about the character, the more you know about the character, because this character sort of game plan of press shit is very uh, hit and miss and very uh, sort of discordant and weird. Um, and some characters benefit from this. People like um, new Shaolin players or new Scent players, they do things that you don't expect and sometimes that's all you need to win a match so, you know, good luck. But yeah, um, that's Lawbringer. He's extremely boring, he's extremely simple, he's in most people's opinion brain dead but hey at least he looks kind of cool i guess i forgot about the wings Shh.